Hi guys, and thanks for watching. So today I upgraded to the Apple Watch Ultra from the Apple Watch 6. I'm gonna give you my first impressions of this amazing watch and how I feel about it. And in a couple of weeks, I may give you another video once I'm into using this thing and let you know my uh, personal opinion of it. So let's, uh, let's get started. So first I'm going to cover the reasons why I upgraded from the Apple Watch 6 to the, uh, to the new version of the Apple Watch. Um, the first thing was battery life during workouts. Um, uh, the Apple Watch 6 is great if you work out once or twice a day, but if you work out maybe three times a day or more, then you are going to have a battery problem. Um, quite often when I, I do like uh, two fairly long walks and I do a gym workout at the end of the day. And uh, when I hit my gym workout, this little guy um, would be struggling, probably on about 10% battery. And a couple of times I even had to end the workout because the battery was dying on the Apple Watch, which is not good. This guy is supposed to have, I think it's a five day battery on it. So we'll see if that actually uh, helps. Um, also when your battery is very depleted like that, you can't easily do sleep tracking because what happens is you take your watch off after your workout, you put in a charger and um, it's not fully charged by the time you go to bed. So you spend, you know, leaving, you decide to leave it on a charger overnight basically and that means you can't do any sleep tracking with your Apple Watch. So battery life is key important. Another important thing is when you leave your cell phone behind. This guy does not like running on LTE at all. It will drain the battery. Yes, it's got a little red thing and it will uh, it will work on the LTE radio band, but guess what? It doesn't like it at all. And if you if you walk away from your cell phone, so you're not on Bluetooth and you're not on a, you're not on Wi-Fi, um, it's gonna significantly drain your battery and probably you probably you know about th after about three hours you're gonna have basically no battery left in your Apple Watch and that really that really sucks. Yeah, it's a good feature being able to walk away from your cell phone, but you can't actually use it on the Apple Watch Six and the other Apple Watches. So this guy apparently can go about eighteen hours away from the cell phone, so we'll see if that actually works. So let's dive into a few of the uh, features and how this uh, this new guy looks. So as we can see, there's quite a bit of a size difference between these two watches, but the new one is not obnoxiously large. A lot of people have been complaining that the new watch is too large. I actually don't find it too large. It's a little bit bigger and you get a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a little bit of an edge on the old watch because the display is larger. You can display display more information on the display. But from that, it's not it's not a huge thing that's going to kind of weigh you down or anything. In terms of weight, this thing actually feels pretty light. Now, um, you know, back in the 90s, I used to fly planes and pilots used to have these big, you know, metal, metal aviation watches on our, on our wrists. And it actually feels a lot of, a lot lighter than one of those guys. Um, doesn't feel like it's going to catch anything. Doesn't feel particularly heavy. It feels like it's a, it's a, it's a nice watch, really. Um, I'm not seeing any problems with the weight. I know some people have been complaining like they're, walking around with a hundred pound dumbbell on their arm or something. No, it's not that bad. It actually feels feels light and you can't notice the difference between this and a standard, a standard Apple Watch. It feels about the same, to be honest. Now I do like the Velcro trail strap here. This gives it a real tight fit to your skin and you don't have the all or nothing approach. Now with the with the Apple older Apple Watches, you have this this kind of hook and loop system on the on the watch. And it's either, if you notice, it's either too tight or it's too loose, and there's no real in betweens. Obviously, Velcro, it's you know, it's infinitely adjustable. Um, the one thing I would say, this is a small to medium size uh, wrist strap, and guess what? It barely fits across my hand, and I would consider myself a you know, medium. I won't say I was large, and it barely fits across my hand. So consider that it's kind of hard to get on you. In your watch, but you get your watch on your arm, but it does kind of expand um, a little bit as you put your arm um, as you get over your hand, so it's uh, that works. That little orange button down there is a very useful feature. That is just a workout button and, and an emergency button as well. So if you touch it once, it will bring up your workout screen. If you hold it in, then you can access emergency services and you can activate the siren on the watch as well. 
Now, I've heard complaints about the siren on the watch saying people have accidentally set it off at the gym and stuff like that. Um, you'd have to be pretty stupid to do that. It actually starts off low. It's like, and then gets gets louder and louder. And I'll demonstrate that in a, in a second right here. So now let's take a look at the dreaded siren mode, shall we? Hold the little orange button in. I'm going to select siren. And here we go. Really not that bad, you know, it will attract attention to yourself unless someone thinks there's a really strange bird chirping out in the woods somewhere. Um, if you set it off at the gym, it's not going to be a huge issue. Uh, I think it's pretty hard to set it off. It's almost like the uh, the emergency uh, call feature. It's hard to set it off and I don't think you can be uh, have too much of a problem with the emergency siren. Let's take a look at night mode as well. Now I did like the idea of night mode and it's great in theory. The only problem is it only actually works on one watch face. Um, so your favorite watch face may not work in night mode. This watch face here, this uh, chronograph one, will actually work in night mode. If we turn the digital crown, and eventually it will, oh, I don't need to take laundry, transition to night mode. There you go, it goes all red for you to help you with your night vision and then you know, you can transition it back to day mode. The only problem is, you know, that 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 watch face is not very clear. Um, so you can kind of tell the time on it. But if your eyesight's as good as mine, you may have a few problems with night mode. It'd be good if they had it in big bold characters or something. But no, night mode is just a chronograph uh, watch face. Um, I'd probably not going to be very useful until they add uh, new watch faces to it. Now the workout button is useful. The workout button, the little orange button there, same button that sets off your siren. If you push it once, there is a workout panel. So nice and quick to access the workouts. Push it once, brings up your workouts. One of the initial comments I have with it is that Apple have not provided a USB charger. Yeah. You have just bought an $800 watch and they have skimped you out of a $20 charger. No, that's not, that's not a smart idea, Apple. Um, but you know, okay, you have to use a, you have to use another uh, USB charger or go to the store and grab one or, you know, use the, um, you can't actually use one off your old Apple watch because uh, it's a different uh, form of charger. So you'd have to actually go to the store and get a new charger, but you could probably use your iPhone's charger or something like that if you have a fairly, uh, fairly new iPhone. Overall, I'm impressed with it. It's not too big and bulky as you can see. Um, it's got a nice strap. Um, the, what I don't know is I don't know if it fits the need yet. And yeah, my need was, you know, an incredible battery life that could last, you know, all day despite several workouts. Um, I'm not sure if it beats that need yet. And I have not slept with it yet. And sleeping with your Apple Watch is an important thing because if you keep, you know, if this thing keeps catching on the bed sheets and stuff and annoying you and it makes you feel like you have a car attached to your wrist, then it's probably a... Uh, Probably not going to be a good idea to sleep with your watch on. So let's see how things go over the next two weeks. I'll give you guys another report in two weeks' time. I'll let you know if this guy is, is worth the money or if I should have uh, should have gone back to the Apple Watch 6. But unfortunately, the Apple Watch 6 is going back to uh, going back to Verizon. Um, one thing I did do is I did a trading with my old Apple Watch. So I traded in my old Apple Watch for uh, 180 bucks into Verizon, and that gave me... Um, they gave me a discount on this one. Also, when you when you purchase a watch, it will say you owe them, you know, hundred bucks or ninety bucks or something. But when you go to checkout, that will disappear and it go onto your next uh, next phone bill, which is a good feature as well. So you don't actually you don't actually pay a penny for the watch. You just use a few clicks and it's basically delivered to your house within about within about four days or something. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, click down there, like, subscribe, and I will talk to you again in two weeks. And I'll let you know if I'm cursing this thing out or if I like it. Take care.